Hey everybody, I hope you are having an amazing day. <laughs> we are going to use my cards today and see what messages we get. what messages that was something else <laughs> pardon me <laughs> um i made some irish moss and i guess it uh <laughs> it's working <laughs> um somebody's saying it's hard for me to express my feelings so maybe this is a love reading um, but not necessarily. This could be someone, a friend. So this could be a romantic partner or a friend or ex. Um, someone that you don't talk to anymore. And I trust you. So somebody trusts you even though maybe they act like they didn't before. Ooh, that's a lot. Um, it is, it is not you, it is me all day. Why did you do me dirty? Drink more water. <clears throat> I don't want to hurt you. I made the wrong choice. Um, let's see if we can get like two more. Let's get two more, please, and thank you. Okay, so I'm manipulative and yes, flipped over, but I'm not going to take them. So this is way too many cards. I'm just looking for two more. Two more, please. Stalker. Somebody on a midnight creep. Unprotected sex. What is going on? These cars flipping over. I just need two more. All right, there's two. All right now, end of a cycle. I feel so guilty for how I treated you. This is interesting. <laughs> so, um, basically somebody's saying it's hard for them to express their feelings, but they do trust you. It's not, it wasn't you, even though maybe they blamed you for something. It was them. Um. Why did you do me dirty? Maybe that's your question. Um, well, maybe this person feels like at some point you did them dirty. Um, I feel like you need to drink more water. Um, this may help to cleanse some things within you. Maybe you have something going on and water will help to cleanse. Maybe even doing like a three-day water fast if you can manage to do that. Um, I don't want to hurt you, so um, whoever this, I'm thinking it's a past person, so whoever this past person is um, that finds it hard to express themselves um, doesn't want to hurt you, so maybe they hurt you already. Um, or maybe they in a situation that might hurt you. I don't know. We have strength at the bottom and the fool in reverse. Uh, yeah, maybe 
this person chose someone else over you thinking the grass would be greener on the other side but it is the end of a cycle and they feel guilty for how they treated you all right this is interesting <laughs> The pool still at the bottom, new beginnings, new beginnings, so let's see what's going on here. What's going on up in here? Now that I mean shorty, what's up? What's going on? How are you? What's going on? Um, what do you want from this person? Let's start there. What do you want from this person? What does the collective want in this general overall energy reading? What does the collective want from this person, this past person who found it hard to... King of Wands in the reverse. Wow. Um, this person was very aggressive with you. Um... I'm picking up this person may have mistreated you, cursed you out, or just dishonored you in some other way. Like, just said some things that just weren't right. Um, and your relationship didn't seem to have a purpose. Like, whatever you had going on, it was just, like, there. Like, you couldn't get any straight answers or, you know. Like one of those relationships where you're really in a relationship, but the person doesn't really want to claim you as being in a relationship, but you do all the things that people in relationships do. I'm getting that kind of energy. Um, this person finds it hard to motivate others because they probably aren't able to motivate themselves. And maybe they were coming off as controlling or bossy. So in answering the question, what do you want? I'm assuming that you want this person to be a stand-up guy or girl, leader, have structure and order, be responsible, be mature, have a clear purpose. <laughs> um, you want this person to be motivating, ambitious, take action towards you, and express their feelings. Um, you know, wands are usually moving ahead, but this person is like moving backwards, I guess. Um, so you want somebody that's going to come toward you with confidence and trust. Yeah. What are your dreams and goals? What's your aspiration? Let's share the collective's aspiration. Male or female energy here? What is the general overall aspiration of the collective? What is the collective aspiring to? What is the collective aspiring to? What is the collective aspiring to? What energy is the collective aspiring to? Speak to me. Speak now, speak to me. Oh, there we go. Um, well, I'm sure you're not aspiring to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> um, but you're trying to fill a void. So maybe um, you were rejected when you were younger or abandoned and... So you allow this person to mistreat you because you were trying to fill a void. Um, you might be living above your means, um, buying stuff as a way to fill that void, thinking that 
you know, the stuff is going to make you feel better. And maybe the shopping or, you know, getting the hair done, the nails done, or, you know, going to the barber shop or buying these sneakers or driving this kind of car does make you feel good in the moment. Um, but then you're living above your means, so then you end up being stressed. Because, again, you're trying to fill a void. Um, and one of the things that you need to do is drink more water, which is a sign of you loving yourself. And even when you drink that water, you should say to the water, I love you. Thank you for coming into my life to help me heal and replenish my body. You should say good things to your water as you're drinking it or before you drink it. And talk into the glass. Um, you might be buying things that you can't really afford. Again, living above your means. But this is the end of that cycle. This, the end of that cycle is coming. Um. Yeah, because these are things that happened in your past that made you feel this way. And this is, again, why you chose to stay with this energy that pretty much did you dirty. Um, but this person doesn't want to hurt you anymore. Um, maybe, maybe you have not heard from this person, and that would be why. Because this person doesn't want to hurt you anymore. So they may be staying away intentionally so that they don't hurt you anymore. Not to hurt you, but so that they don't hurt you because they're still not. I mean, this person is not ready to give you what you need. They're showing up as the king of wands in the reverse. Um, and so again, they may be staying away because they don't want to hurt you. Not to continue hurting you. Um, so maybe you need to heal and figure out other ways that you can um, fill this void from your past life experiences. Um, and don't wait around on this person. You know, what is it that saying go? If it's meant to be, the person will come back. But don't sit around and wait on it because this person, you know, maybe just going on with their life. And this is a new cycle that's going to be begin beginning for you. In the end of that old feeling of needing to fill a void. Um, how do you get there? Uh, six of Swords. By going to, to calmer waters. This is a transition. It's part of your spiritual journey. Um, maybe meditating, practicing yoga, Pilates. Going for walks. Taking spiritual baths, burning sage, um, even just letting go. Sometimes all it takes is for you to change your mind and do something different. Um, letting go of old habits, bad habits, um, staying stuck on one certain, it, it got to be this way or it has to be that way, and it doesn't. <laughs> Let go of some of those beliefs that you know were programmed into your mind. It, it, it doesn't have to be this way or that way. You know, there's there's everything. It's, things are always changing and evolving. Um, and you want to return to um, a state of harm, harmony, peace, and balance. So, um, and you want clear, good, honest communication. And, and, and swords are all about communication and harmony and peace and finding your inner joy. And happiness. Um, you also get there with the seven pentacles in reverse. Um, by being patient. Right now you're probably being impatient. You want it right now and I understand. Maybe you feel lonely. Um, maybe you want to have sex. I'm not trying to be funny. You know, maybe, you know. You feeling like you want a companion, um, or maybe a business idea didn't work out, maybe a job situation didn't work out, and maybe you need a new strategy. Um, maybe you invested in something or tried not something new and it is making you feel anxious because it's not growing at the rate that you need for it to grow. But just be be patient. So. You get there by being patient, moving away from whatever does not serve a good purpose in your life and being patient. 
Um, how do you get there? Queen of Cups in the upright. By being emotionally balanced and, you know, using your intuition, nurturing, kind. When you do stuff for other people, the things that you have going on don't seem as bad. Especially if somebody is in really in need of help. You know, sow a seed into somebody else's life so that, you know, you're not so focused on what you have going on. But the potential is here. Um, and look, the fool came back out. <laughs> It's a new beginning. It's a new day. It's a new day. Starting my life and my path is clearer. That's a Patty LaBelle song. I might be I might have messed the words up a little bit, but anyway. Um, but yeah, be compassionate towards others and yourself. And give yourself some grace. Allow yourself to start this new beginning without beating yourself up about it. And or saying, you know, you, or feeling like you have to be in control. And again, it has to be done this way or that way. And, you know, no, it doesn't. Sometimes you just have to do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Some of us have become accustomed to being perfectionists, but it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. Again, sometimes you just have to do it. Okay, what is the goal here? What is the overall goal for the collective? What energy can we say is the overall goal? Queen of Wands. That's that confidence. You want to have confidence. Right? You want to be um, independent and enthusiastic, inspiring to others. Strong, confident, self-assured. Um, using your energy to move forward and take action. Be ambitious. Motivational. Mature. Supportive. Giving. I just pretty much got finished saying that, you know, do something for other people. You can you can step into this energy now if that's your goal. Okay, what's the overall advice you have for the collective? I'm going to end this kind of early. Kinda, it's kind of late, so I'll probably wait till tomorrow and edit it the right way. Um, nine of Cups in the reverse. This relationship may have been self-serving because, again, you were trying to fill the void. Um, so that might be why you're you know, you were dissatisfied with it and then why it didn't work out. Um, but again, going forward, just use your intuition. Temperance, yes, balance. <laughs> Everything in moderation. Um, but find that inner harmony and create something new. Blending together, so... Um, this could be a new relationship coming if you're, you know, you're combining those two cups together to find that right balance. So maybe you'll find that right balance with someone else this time, someone who will be fair and patient. Um, use your intuition. We have the world in reverse. Um, you may feel like you need closure, but maybe this reading is your closure. Maybe you feel like it wasn't, you know, because this, this cycle is about to end. But maybe you feel like you're not satisfied because you didn't get the closure that you wanted and you feel like you can't move on. But you need to move on. Start anew. 
beginning. And then, you you know, you feel like you haven't closed out that old cycle, but then you want something new to start. But sometimes you got to let go of the old so the new can come in. And you have the Eight of Swords in the upright. You know, this is a self-imposed <laughs> mentality. You're not a victim, you're victorious. Be confident and secure. If you feel isolated, maybe you need to go out and meet people. Put your freakum dress on or your handsome suit on and, you know, say some, some, some positive affirmations. Be kind to yourself. Say good things to yourself. Be understanding and patient with yourself. And going forward, you need to learn to set boundaries. And if somebody does or say, says something that you don't like, you need to let it be known right then and there and not wait. And then you feel in some kind of way. You no. Know. Set clear boundaries and say what you need to say. Because at any point, you can walk away. It's up to you. <laughs> Nobody's around. Um, it looks like this is loosely tied. So you can break free at any time. It's up to you. And that water, that's like hope. Because it's like the rest is a drought. But there's hope in the rest of the picture. And eights represent progress and motivation creating a strategy again you may need to meditate drink more water go for a walk do you know pamper yourself that's what a queen of wands does and you don't need a king of wands in reverse someone who you know is controlling and aggressive so if you assert your independence and say what you need to say, you know, you won't feel like a victim. Like the question, why did you do me dirty? Why does it matter? But they did you dirty because it's hard for them to express their feelings because of whatever they want went through, which doesn't have anything to do with you. They don't want to hurt you, even if they did. A lot of times we may be hurt by something that somebody does or says, but it really wasn't intentional. It's something based on what they have going on that really doesn't have anything to do with us. And they realize now that they made the wrong choice, but you shouldn't care. You should be ready to move on and start your new beginning. Create a better strategy this time so you do not end that seven of pentacles in reverse. And be patient with yourself in the process. Also, at the bottom of the deck is the six of wands in reverse. Um, maybe you felt like this person didn't even recognize you or show you off in public or try to keep you a secret. But, you know, you don't need all of that. Do that for yourself. Balance out your energy and get ready for something new. You don't you know you don't need validation. Just move forward. And go after that balance and harmony that you deserve in your life. And say I am worthy, I am enough. Everything always works out well for me. Okay. I am done. I hope that this was helpful. I love y'all. Later.